Here I go. Ready or not. So I uh, prepared a uh, drawing paper, which I uh, uh, used uh, conservation adhesive to mount on a acid-free surface foam core board. It's a good size. And uh, I just began the drawing. <coughs> By the, uh, and uh, that's the uh, that I'm listening to. I bought some years ago at the uh, gift shop at the Norton Art Museum in West Palm. Uh, so there's the uh, photo. Multiple amputee, Jewish woman, uh, waiting at a train station or depot um, for the train that's going to deport her to her death. It's an astonishing array of uh, uh, the surface, uh, her face, the clothing, the uh, bandages uh, where her hands were, and looks like uh, perhaps a canteen, a pot, a pan, or the possessions uh, here. Wrapped in a patterned uh, shawl blanket, perhaps like a serape, but also with a kind of decoratively patterned uh, kerchief. So I'm working on the pencil outline right now, and uh, once I have enough of that done, I'll uh, start uh, the pen and ink. Kind of hard to see the pencil here. Just uh, from the kind of head down, it's just kind of rough outline of the of the shape. There you have it. On my way, ready or not. This will be the. Uh, if it turns out, it will then expand into the fifth mosaic drawing combo, which will get me busy for the next, uh, or probably to 2014 or so. Okie doke. There you have it. working my way down added uh, color last night I will be going over those sections with progress support August 30th coming along here working my way down the center of the drawing drawing is turning into a, a very nice triangular shape with apex kind of pinnacle at uh, where the victim's head is, top center. I uh, did uh, three sections here based on uh, 1920s, 30s black and white photographs from the Wooden Synagogues book. Two sections uh, were used uh, in the Young Man with Star of David Armband in the Warsaw Ghetto, the first mosaic drawing. I did uh, back in uh, 1999. The um, section here and here from uh, a town called Gvozdjech, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's built in the first half of the 17th century. It had polychrome frescoes in the ceilings. This is like early 1600s. And you can see sections like that that uh, inspired me. The uh, kind of more architectural section here, which would be like this in terms of the photograph, but I've turned it vertically, uh, is from uh, the town of Grodno, and it's from the Bima, which was in the center of the uh, sanctuary. Uh, the, uh, all these synagogues were burned, burned down, sometimes the Jews inside them, by the Wehrmacht and or the SS after the Nazi occupation of uh, Poland. So there's the, uh, what I call like the latticework 
on top the posts there and the kind of uh, sections below that, and which I uh, did here. So to be continued, there's her uh, the uh, left uh, kind of forearm where her hand had been uh, cut off, however, surgically or otherwise, and the stump of where her right hand would be in forearm there to be continued.